In this video, let's have a quick look at this new model, which is called as COG VLM. COG VLM is a powerful open source visual language model or VLM. COG VLM 17 billion has 10 billion vision parameters and 7 billion language parameters. So in total 17 billion. COG VLM 17B achieves state-of-the-art performance on 10 classic cross-model benchmarks, including no caps, Flickr 30K captioning, RefCoco, RefCoco Plus, RefCoco G, Science QA, VizVizB QA, and the list goes on and on and on. COG VLM can also chat with you about images, which is quite interesting. What problem COG VLM is trying to solve is that it is devising a visual language model focusing on the alignment between text and images. To this end, these researchers have really come up with a visual expert module that introduces new parameter in the attention and FFN layers to deeply align image and text feature without degrading LLM performance. So this COG VLM 17B introduces deep fusion between vision and language information via new attention layers and feed forward network layers for visual features. And they have a lot of more detail in this GitHub repo to which I will drop the link in video's description. If you look at few of these examples, then COG VLM can understand and answer various type of question and has a visual grounding version too. So for example, this is the image. If you ask it how to solve this thing, it says uh, these are the apples, I guess, plus again, a slice of apple and equal to. And then COG VLM has recognized the image. It has also recognized this arithmetic operation. And then it is showing you that the problem in the picture is a simple math problem where a sliced green apple is equated to a question mark. And then it has given you the whole equation and then it has also resolved the answer for you. So we, we are basically primarily chatting with this COG VLM about this image and how cool is that. And then on the second example, which is primarily a grounding visual question. So if you ask that what colors are the clothes of the girl whose hands are holding flowers. So, and we are asking it to think uh, step by step. And then it has gone in uh, and given us the answer. Then we are asking it further questions that what, are, what colors are the genes of the girl whose hands are not holding flowers. And you can see that the image resolution is not that great, but still the model is able to deduce what exactly is happening in the image and chatting uh, with you about it. Amazing stuff. And similarly, there are further examples which they have given, which you can read more from their GitHub repo. So another thing I wanted to mention is that this COG VLM has achieved state of the art or the second best performance across 14 classic cross model benchmarks, which I mentioned above, and they have given a lot more detail in this GitHub repo. They also have this website where you can play around with this model. So I have translated this into English. It is primarily by default in Chinese. So once you go to Google Translate or any translator of your choice in your browser, you will see this. You can try it out by clicking on it, try it, and then you have to uh, sign up here um, with your mobile number, and then you can log in and try it out easily. You can also install it locally, but you would need a real beefy system with this spec. So for infants, you would need one A100 GPU with 80 gig of uh, RAM or two RTXs with 24 gig. If you want to fine tune it, then it will of course go up. So you would need four A100 GPUs or eight RTX. So that is recommended. Um, but in order to run it, all you need to do is to git clone this repo, then install all the requirements and then run this Python command. Similarly, you can also run it um, web demo based on Gradio, but you need to install the Gradio first with pip install Gradio. The GUI looks like this. As you can see where you can upload your images and then on the right hand side you can start chatting with your images and then they also have open source some of the different checkpoints which you can read further if you want to delve deeper into it with um, set model and interaction in the command line 
so this is it guys uh, i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please ask them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much